now it's in. <laughs> um, it was just like every install video that uh, is out there. Uh, it went smoothly for some reason when uh, this was the only screw number one was the only one that was thoroughly in there, uh, machine grade. These two were loose already. Let's see, it was a little bit disconcerting. I didn't get the CPU enclosure, the orange bit, down into the slots the first couple of times. Super precarious. I was holding my... Uh, this particular motherboard doesn't come with a, uh, an additional protector over the pins, if I remember correctly, on other boards. <clears throat> In addition to the blank bit that goes, that just holds the place of the CPU and the CPU housing, there is also a separate piece that goes over, plastic piece, I think, in other boards, on other boards that protect the pins themselves. Uh, this guy does not have it. And that's cool. I just kept it open for the smallest amount of time possible. Uh, and I was super protective, lowering the thing back in. Once I got it down to the correct level, it popped into place very definitively, and there's no question that it was in there. You know, I didn't have any issues screwing it back in. It felt like it went back in, question mark. I just have to believe that the motherboard is a micro-engineered to touch all the pins successfully. Uh, the uh, torque screwdriver worked just fine, snapped to fail over to end the turning very clearly as well. There's no question when you're at the correct uh, force on the torque screwdriver. So these two guys, a little violent, popping it back in just because this is uh, $1,500 worth of hardware. These two things, you know, I don't really like brute force anywhere around it. Certainly not with the specificity of the, the pins underneath, but, you know, if it does what it says, it pops back in, that just means you're good, and uh, you deal with it. So, hopefully it'll boot. Uh, I still haven't found the GPU riser cable that's supposed to come with the Core P3 case. You know, I opened it up, and it's uh, not in there. Maybe it's still floating around under the plexiglass, but I don't know. Not gonna deal with that right now, because I got a backup that I think is actually gonna work better according to user reports, so. Uh, that's empty. <laughs> uh, it's not empty, there's a stock, um, I think, cooling bracket, maybe air cooling bracket in there, and uh, the torque screwdriver, and you guys don't care about this, anyway. I'm not including like the actual videos partially because I don't have any kind of uh, overhead camera or multiple pairs of arms. So hope you guys are, are doing okay with this cutaway, comeback, uh, progress stuff. Production value, we'll see what I do with the video afterwards. If there's anything, you know, uh, it will be probably after a lot of effort. So I, I expect it to be skimpy production, but hopefully this helps somebody. Um, what am I going to do next? Shoot. Need to figure it out. Maybe the PSU or power supply. Um, I guess that's where we're going. Might change my mind, but back in a sec. Alright, so I made a bit of a decision here. Next up, I'm going to install <clears throat> the radiator. Yeah, I'm going to get the radiator and then the fans and then the fan covers and then the reservoir brackets and then the reservoir here uh, because that's been a <clears throat> serious design consideration for me in this I uh, got parts from 
bunch of different suppliers and uh, you know just going off of the word of the folks who answered email yet yeah, it'll work so particularly I'm interested in the brackets that will sit between the fan covers and the reservoir also if anyone is like me and wants to put a 480 millimeter radiator on a, a P3 case, you probably know the uh, sentiment that I have right now. I have no goddamn idea if it's going to work, so hopefully this can help somebody. Um, I fully anticipate it, as you all have probably seen, uh, shooting out <laughs> the top pretty damn far, so I'm all about it. You know, I uh, I want this guy to be as cold as possible, and I've seen at least one picture <clears throat> on Overclock.net's forums for the Core P3 owner's case. Uh, one picture of uh, a 480 radiator on this guy. Um, so I'm gonna just, for my peace of mind, put that guy on there. See if I can screw it in. I'll be unboxing the rest of the related things here in a sec unboxing for me I'm not filming it for you guys because that's boring you know it is what you what you pay for 99% of the time um, <clears throat> so yeah I'm gonna see how this mount works uh, on the radiator to case see what it looks like we'll be back in a sec